check. Good. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Exhibitions. Today we've got Justin Lee here. We're going to break down some of his own clips. Now, I know you guys have all been asking him for so long to start a YouTube channel, but he hasn't. So instead, this is his chance. This is his opportunity to show you guys how much better of a diver he is than me. Break down some of his older clips, newer clips. What do you got here? It's a little bit of everything. Random old clips. One o'clock in the morning. Everything. <laughs> Bro, the only way we film YouTube <laughs> is at one in the morning. That's just the way it works. There's technical difficulties all freaking day long, all night long. So here we are. Play the first clip. What do we got? We got a run to ball. We got Justin on the bottom. Somebody's filming him, which is always a good thing. This is my really good friend. Unfortunately, he's passed away for a couple of years now. This is Mike Hong. Look at those ukus, bro. Bro, this is where you just were at. Where? This is Lanai. Holy shit. What? What do you mean, what? Look at all the yellow spots. Are those yellow spots? Those, those are all Lamilus. Wow. That's right. That's why you said I didn't see it. I was like, bro, you guys don't know where you guys were diving. Bro, I dove off the public pier. I basically dove off Kona Pier. I dove for two hours. I saw an Ono, and I shot an Uku, and I lost another Uku. I was pumped, bro. Oh. I, I dove off Kona Pier. It was great. Look at that. Look at that nice little lunge forward right there off the edge. The current was yoking right here. That was sick. Look at that hunch back. Only Justin Lee. I don't see it. I don't see it. Don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Where's the hunchback that you're talking Get about? out of here! <laughs> right. How else are you supposed to fight with it? Look at how fast the current is. I get to the surface, my Kong takes a breath. And we gone. <laughs> That's true, you are gone. <laughs> Bro, it was crazy. That was cool. That was freaking cool. But this was like a 23 pound I was gonna say how big oh, what? was it? 23. Were you guys over there on a boat or what were you doing? No, look at the shoreline, bro. You're swimming from the shore. Look at that thing. That was a lot of fish, bro. I didn't see anything like that. I mean, I did die from Kona Pier, but still. It was insane. It was insane. I, for, because, you know, it's not my refrigerator, it's the people in the nice refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I don't want to tell people where we're at, but uh, you might want to stop this video because you're going to see the background in three, <laughs> two, one. Next up, Sam, are you coming in? Is that... Uh, I want to be Yes, Sam! Yeah. Join sit, the party. Come sit over here. It's okay. I think, see if you can see me down here and I'll just control the stuff. Oh, we see you. Oh, we see you, Sam of Graham. Sorry if you can smell my feet. I worked all day and the, the shoes got wet first thing in the morning. And, uh -huh. We're good. Sam of Graham. Okay. All right, let's see next the next step. one. What next do we got? Let's see. This one's, the, you can see his titling. His organization system is extremely good. Yes. <laughs> GG, this one is G -G. called. GG. So this is, what if I would have submitted this, this is a world record snapper on a pole spear. This is the New Zealand pinnacle spot. Yep, this is New Zealand. So this is off, uh, I think it was like North Island or North Reef or something like that. And you guys don't know, these, are, these snapper here that he's shooting, these are like the moo of New Zealand. I mean, I didn't shoot one the entire time. I mean, they, they were freaking brilliant. And then 120 feet with the pole spear? Yeah, we were trying to break the world record because Ryan and Forrest Galante... Me, and Forrest, and Ryan Gattoni. Gattoni, we're, we're going back and forth. We're like, forth. we're going to break the world record. And so we're like, whatever, is Hawaii we, boy going to show up? You did. You Kylie did. ends up shooting one bigger than both of theirs. With what? With a pole spear. With what? The kingfish? Yeah. I don't remember she that. shot one that was pretty big. All but I the crazy thing about this clip is, so we get up and it's pretty, it was a long dive. Yeah. I mean, we floated from like that. 70 feet. And so Mike Hong um, is filming this. And if you see the, the camera start to go back down the water, yeah. it's because he's actually passed out right here. He's out. Spencer swims around me. I am oblivious to You're this. Oblivious. Spencer swims around and grabs this. That's Riley. Riley Elliott sees him. Grabs him and pulls him up and holds his head out of the water. No way, the camera's just floating. He's just floating like this with his arm outside of it. But he filmed you perfectly, he even passed out. Yes, it's, Mike Hong was, a, was an amazing, amazing human being. And I miss him so much. Man. What a legend. But, uh, really cool. yes, totally a legend. What a good Dude. guy. And there was a big mako shark swimming around us. That, that was a mako shark down. I can't believe he blacked out. Okay. Bro. What else we got? Check this. This is one of my very first move clips. Like, I was so excited because when I went underneath this little ledge, I saw an Oveo Veo, and I was like, oh, I'm going to come back to you. <laughs> okay, that tells you. <laughs> that tells you the level we're at. Yes. We're pumped. I was like, oh, he's in there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? There's a moo out there. I got to tuck in. So I tuck into this little crack as okay. small as I can. Hamakua. Mm-hmm. 
Nice and bouldery, so a little dirty. Track. So all of a sudden you'll see the move kind of appear above that rock over there. And then I suck in really tight. Like a freaking yeah. octopus. I'm going to slowly move the gun out. One tentacle out. <laughs> One tentacle see, move, out. Move. And look at that. What is that, a Rob Allen? Rob Allen 120. God, everybody in the world started Watch with Watch how much kick it. this gun had. I used to put like 16 inch bands on it. So we did. Look at that. Look at that. Yes! Nicely done, man. The Rob Allen 120. I think that was the Vecta 1 2 with the gray cassette. Uh, yeah. it was, no, it was the tuna. Yep, the tuna. Was that the second one? Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about the gray cassette and the green handle. No, the green handle was before that. Oh. I think you had the yeah, tuna the with gray. the Vecta 1. Yep, yep the gray yep. cassette. Yep, yep. I don't That's know what ridiculous. the gray cassette is. The gray trigger mech. You had the gray trigger mech, and this it was is, the older version. This uh. is your, what is it, a spedo? When you pull yourself along the bottom? That's the aguado. Aguado. This is an aguado. All right. So for you guys that don't know, that's where you go down to the bottom and then you crawl along the bottom. But you're not. This is this, this is your is... hamaku where you like to hunt over the ledges. You told me because yeah, I hunted with I you one time and you were like. I'm gonna block out all the names. No, the hamaku, hamaku is fine. fine. No one can get there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get there if you wanted to get there, guys. So don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah. So I saw these monocolies coming over, and so I drifted down. Ducked over the edge. Hit crawled in the along. Until he got to a better hiding spot or a better attracting spot or dusting spot, and then he'll he'll post up and wait. Look at that Rob Allen one twenty. That was seriously my favorite gun for the longest. Time. Sam, what I had a Rob Allen one twenty two. Do you still have yours? Yeah, of course yeah. I do. Bro, I, I gave it to my buddy Wayne. He shot his first Ono with it. Yeah. I have mine too. Yeah. We gotta put him. We gotta take him out one day, dude. Make a video. <laughs> yes. My wrist. The whole thing was bah! like just like that every freaking time. Nice Mona Collie, man. Super cool. So this is an example of I don't like to shoot fish with rocks right behind them. Okay. Okay. So I don't care. I know you don't <laughs> Especially if I'm shooting Your Justin's tip. gun. Your then I'll just blast that care. thing right into the rocks. So this is the... I wanted to shoot this Joe Lewis. Look at that he, Joe. he wouldn't stay still long enough. And I understand that if I have to turn all the way around. Everything is frightened. Because I'm moving quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm turning all the way around. Look at that Flip the gun around. Fuck. And then this Joe is coming in close. But so I'm tracking him, tracking him, tracking him. You can still see though how slow that gun moves through the water. Tracking, tracking, tracking. As soon as he clears the rock, I pull the trigger. He doesn't want to shoot that rock. You still skipped off the rock. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Look at that cloud of dust. Uh, yeah. hang Slow on. mo. Did I clip off the rock? Yes. Oh, yeah, I see the clip. I see the cloud of dust. Boom! Dust cloud. It was close. Oh. Another half a second. Shucks. See, you should have just said that you did that on purpose, and then it just skipped off the rock. But no, I'm just not. I'm not afraid of hitting the rocks, man. Nothing bad has ever happened to me from hitting a rock. It just you dull your tip of your spear. Yeah, I can sharpen my tip of my spear. Not in the water. What's this? What's this? What's this? What do we got? What's this? It's, it's magic everywhere. <laughs> yes. What's this? What's this? Is it jack o lantern? Jack. jack uh, skeleton? Skeleton? Something like that. I don't know. Nightmare Before Nightmare Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That was used to freak me out. Was... Okay, where are we here, Justin? This is uh, I'm a cool. One. This this video is pretty cool. So this is like one of those scouting dives, I think. Okay. No, this is not a scouting dive. I feel like I'm in a dream. Oh, this is the moon. You see how you tied your hide, hide myself behind yeah. that rock? Yeah. And this was a long time ago. Yeah, this is seven guns ago. That's incredible, man. See, that level of, like, hunting, that level of hiding and hunting just didn't, it didn't come to me until recently. Like, it was, it was not, it took a long time. I was spearfished a lot before I, that next level got there. But, I mean, how old were you when you started spearfishing? Not super old. Like, 17. Yeah. I think I started with a three prong at like eleven. Wow. No, I had a I had a JBL twenty four with a three prong tip when I was seventeen. That's what I was like rocking. But nice move. They don't even count on Hamakua side. There's so freaking many of them like that. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Hey. Sam got the biggest one of the day. My only one. Find the top one. 
Press pause. Right there, right there, right there, pause. We all saw it. Where? We only saw it just because it moved right there. It's it right it? in the middle. It's yeah. right, there. right there. It's right, right. I see it. We see I see it. it. Okay. It's the dark okay. spot. Where's the find the second one? Just I can gonna... only find it if they move, uh... bro. Is it up there? I don't know. Find the second one. <laughs> I, I only see... find it if they move. <gasps> nice shot. That's wow, cool. Wow, it's all the way out. Yeah. Because there's a female right next to it, I think. Is that how it works? I think so. That's usually know. when we see two, or yeah. so it's something like that. Yeah, close, it's a male and a female. Yeah. I didn't know you could shoot them. You can. They shoot them. I don't know anything. He was inside the hole, and I saw the size of his head. I was like, man, that thing was gonna wrap me up. In yeah. Fire. Yeah, it looks but. giant. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's my favorite I... game. Find the taco. Find the yeah. taco. I never thought I'd be such a fan of my taco. My favorite game is poke the taco. <laughs> taco. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> See, this is why I love Dive in the Hamakula. Love these fish big boulders. Everywhere? Yes. <laughs> no, it is special over there. It is. It's just interesting structure. And it's like the, always got like that dark tint to it, you know, mm -hmm. to the water and to the sand. It's because it's the black sand. It's just, and the dark it doesn't rocks. reflect the same, I guess. And because it had such gnarly um, sugarcane runoff, yeah. you know, for I don't know how many years, the coral hasn't come back yet. No way. And so that's why you see a very lack of coral. That's why? No way. Because, I mean, it basically blanketed all the, the yeah, coral yeah. and I couldn't get sunlight. Awesome. You're seeing more and more now, but not but, what it used to. Yeah. Or what it can be. I don't even know what video this is. One of your three laptops? One of your three computers? You just... I know what this is. The, this is one of my scouting dives. Okay. And, um... So I just perched up high, didn't know what was going on, and then, uh... Now pause. Is a oh. scouting dive a scouting dive, or is a hunting dive turn into a scouting dive? Like, um, you know, do you abort a hunting dive and then turn it into a scouting dive and say, let's make a better plan, like I see a new coup? Yeah. Or, you, you know, that, because that kind of depends on the fish. For me, it depends on the fish. Yeah. Like over here, you know, the water is so clean. Yeah. And I think the fish, um, you know, don't see too many people. Okay. So if I can sit on the surface, because if I hide right away, they don't know I'm there. Yeah. Or, you know, I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe yeah. they don't. So they're so far away they there. can't get yeah, there. Yeah. You know, because the boulders are so big. They're so big. You, you hide behind see. the boulder, all yeah. of a sudden you can't see much. No, I get you. So if I sit as high off the bottom, 10 yeah. or 15 feet off the bottom, and they see me, if I see them early enough in the dive, and then I'll go and tuck myself underneath okay. the, the boulder in a shade. But you can see that sand patch in front of me. Yeah, yeah. Sitting on the side of this boulder would be epic. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. something was to come in. Yeah. Got it. So you'll you'll go down for a scouting dive and then potentially abort, come back up, do a better, go back down and know that you could get a better position on that mu or that uku or those smarter fish. And I think the biggest... That aren't necessarily going to commit to you perched up. Yeah. You know? And the biggest thing I think is if you do a scouting dive, you don't... You know, you swim at like a 45 away from mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know, you don't go straight up. Yeah. Or if you go straight up, you kick it's very slow. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't do anything aggressive. I end up seeing uh, a pretty sweet kumu off to my left here. And then Kumus. I, yeah, I bail off. You bail off on a kumu. Where you oh, you bounce. Got it. Where the hell is this kumu? This is how deep I am. What color are kumus? Kumus are red. Yeah, what color is this kumu? I don't even see it. Right there, it just came out. It's coming straight up. Blast that rock, buddy. <laughs> but he holds up, and then I don't get him until the next round. Isn't, but. don't you lose red in like the first thing Yeah, you feet? lose red yeah. right away. But, it's super cool. I don't see enough kumus, man. I'm a one kumu every couple of dives. Yeah. Like, I remember I used to dive and. You know, you tell yourself, okay, quota this, quota that, yeah, yeah. and the kumu is always a one fish. Quota. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially, like, your own backyard. Like, this is, yeah. like, this, you're diving these same, these same rocks, these same ledges your whole life, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you grew up right here in this town, and, I mean, there's only so many access points along there, and you're diving these same things. It's really cool to have, to be able to self-regulate these places that, I mean, there's not that many people diving that spot, are there? I mean... I don't know. I mean, there's know? been, there's... There's people that go and stuff like yeah. that, but I, you know, I hope that, you know, at least for the people that I take diving out there, that kind of push the same rules. For like, sure, you know, for sure. We talked about it on this thing.
you know, tell them you get five fish. Yeah, yeah. But you have that small little community over there, and yeah. there's not that many. I mean, there can't be that many divers going there that you don't know that you haven't. You know that that it's it's. Yeah. yeah. Most yeah. times, that's people that show up. If there's and if there's people in the water, you, you sure. don't jump in the water. What is this? This is not that deep. Is this all still Rob Allen days? This is what pathos is this? Oh, this is the path and you switch from the Rob Allen to the pathos. Yeah. You're not wearing is... a glove. The reason I'm not wearing a glove <laughs> is because with the pathos, the, the first uh... handle came in. With a glove, my hand would okay. wouldn't fit it correctly. I can see so that. So my left hand I have a glove. Yeah, yeah. But my right hand, I couldn't shoot the pathos because my hand is a little big or my palm is a little big. I couldn't um, oh. grip the gun correctly yeah. to be able to shoot accurately with it. No, and those mechs and those handles have changed a lot in the last, yeah. what, five, ten years. It's pretty pretty impressive. So so it's, it's got the pin. Yeah. You see the move that came through my gap? And I'm sitting here waiting for him, and he never came in. And so I try to move towards him. And I'm like, okay, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Look at that hunting technique, though. I mean, that's like some Mediterranean crap I right there. I still don't see the fish. Like that movement around the rocks like that? That's like, that's a, that's a Mediterranean aguado. You know, you could, you could cruise around the rock and see your grouper there. Bah. That's pretty cool. Found a better spot, dusted him up. Relaxed again. That's the biggest thing, is trying to relax and get the small fish that you talk about all the time. Yeah. Get the small fish to feel comfortable around you. And it's so hard over there because there's so many more fish. You check that kumo, you're like, yeah, I don't need that one. Not quite big enough. But, and then that lunge forward. And you guys can see, like we talked about this over and over, it was a one pull. He gets one pull plus a small fin kick. That's it. If it's a double, if it's too far, it's not going to happen. You know, you just end up it's just chasing that fish away. What do we got here? We're still in pathos days. Yeah. Still thinking I needed a bungee even to add a reel. Bro, I and that like, bungee I like messed that. me up more than anything. I feel like you still do that. I don't use a bungee. Somebody does that. I think it's Ben Zions. Ben Zions has that. And I'm like, get the hell out of here with that. The bungee just, I've had it kink up and tangle oh. my shooting line way too many times. You're still using a clip though, right? You haven't switched the straight knots, huh? No. No. I'm a big fan, bro. Once I went to straight knots, I was that stupid little stupid quick release knot, never go back. See, for me, it's the, the twisting. It doesn't twist. Your shaft doesn't twist. It doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe I'm. Just... I I'm. I was so skeptical, and one of the European Greek guys made me change. And ever since then, I was like, whoa, it it, it was a big deal. This so, is another scouting dive. Okay. Huh? So sit on top of the boulder. Get down there, perch up. Get the dream. What is it? What'd you call it? The dream? dreamscape. You get the dreamscape with all your fuzz, all your your fog oh, or whatever. Oh, whatever yeah. It is. Your GoPro Hero three or something. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, it looks pretty clear. It does look good despite the fog. It does. I always thought you could crop out the center. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. This is one of those times where, it, but you don't hear me, is me grunting while I'm diving in. Okay. And that's what brings in this guy right here. Yep, the Trevallis. The Omilus love the grunting, the Trevallis, doesn't matter where you are in the world. You grunt, and those things will find you. So. He's like a shot through the eyes, and he still was kicking for you. Yeah. Sick shot. What you else we got, Sam Graham? You don't need eyes to live. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> also, the, the... perfect case, The cute thing. <laughs> oh, this is... What do we got? This is my Rob Allen... No, my Rob This is my aim right single roller rage, but it was a 125 instead of a 150. <laughs> what happened there? Acer ran me over with his boat and sucked my spear gun into his propeller. Oh, so I went from a, what, a 125 to a... To 150. 150. On which side? The On the muzzle. muzzle. The muzzle went straight in. Yeah. What is that? Very flat. There's two hands out in front of you. This is when I thought the purple. Look at it. The purple, purple band. Purple Bro, at stuff. least they're oh, not. Oh, this is uh, not on this island. This is over on Maui. Okay. And I this remember this video. This Moana Kali was off on the edge, and I dove on him twice, and he wouldn't let me get close. And so this coral head in front of me, I used it as my blind. Okay. And I dove way far behind it, and then crawled up to it. And then slow. As soon as I got here, I slowed my brawl. I like it. 
and then he's actually getting cleaned right now. Okay. But you see how small, slow that is? Yeah. Oh my god, look at your watch. My Nixon watch. Look at the Nixon watch and the scratches with the hex gloves. The original hex gloves, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, the original ones. So I'm sitting here waiting, thinking he's going to come in, and all of a sudden he's not. And so he put his head inside the rock right here, which allowed me to lunge forward. And then he let, you'll see him levitate off the bottom. and like, oh. You lunge, no pause, lunge. This is like a freaking sheep or something, bro. You're like, when he's head down, you're freaking moving. That was cool. Super cool. And came in close enough and got him. Wow. Nicely done. That was some serious textbook hunting. That was a couple different techniques there. That was cool. That was super that cool. That was like a big fish. That was a good size collie. On Maui, fish. which is pretty crazy, I think you're only allowed one goldfish. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's one of each or just one goldfish. I think it's one. On where? Yeah. yeah. In Maui. And I don't think you're allowed any uhu, are you? No, no blue ones. ones. Which I think is crazy because, I mean, everybody tells me that, you know, uhu, one uhu services 15 red uhus. Yeah. I've seen it in person where there's like 700 uhus um, and they're all i mean majority of them are red ones and there's you know 15 or 20 blue ones and it's got to be from at least a mile of coastline of reef all these females will sit there and start to run to the surface at the same time and the males will follow them up and they'll just broadcast yeah and then we'll go right back down and it happened for like an hour in front of us it's tough regardless the parrot fish are good yeah they make your sandy beaches, Sam. I was just gonna say, I personally have never shot one. It might be because I suck at shooting them, or it might be because I really like sandy beaches. I think You'll never know. shooting fan or whip tail blue whip tail uhus and not dive bombing on them on the corner side is one of the hardest fish to spear. Deep. Go to hundred feet. Yo, you gotta go to <laughs> You gotta go to hundred feet. Ooh, Ryan. Yeah, you gotta go hundred feet. You know what I mean? Just, hey, you go hundred feet, shoot uhus, bro, like me. No, that's the only way. It's the only way I shoot. Ah. The only way. We've graduated to the aim right again. Uku. Mm -hmm. Uku cruising. That There's... real slow track. Slight lunge forward, just enough to get that. The, the sweet thing about this aim right that I really, really like, and this is like my baby. Yeah, no, I know. It doesn't kick. I, it, I the, shot it. The muscle I love that doesn't guy. bounce. Yeah. But what I've learned is, you see how loose my bands are? Yeah. No, I get it. You basically shoot in like a single, single band 120 Rob Allen or something. Oh. Oh Bro. my Holy God. crap. Who filmed this one? Okay, so the backstory for this thing, this, we're start, we're scouting in Greece, right? Scouting in Greece. And we're suiting up on the boat. And they take forever to suit. We take forever, because I'm in no rush. I have to dive all freaking day, like 150 feet. I'm not in a rush, right? Casually chilling, we're getting dressed. And we see these goats. <laughs> and being a big island boy that likes to chase critters, I saw an opportunity to try and chase and catch a goat. The dude is in literally a different like, side of the world. He's like, I'm gonna go catch this goat. And me and Fotis look at each other and we're like, What? And he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you guys keep getting dressed or whatever the hell you're doing. Like, I'm gonna go catch this goat. He's like, drop me off of that rock. And we're like, What? What you don't see is that I actually swam underwater for a fair bit of time. Trying to be all Navy SEAL. Did you jump off or did you drop you on a rock? No, I slid off the boat and I swam like <laughs> probably 40 yards or 50 yards underwater. Just and then up. from this angle, you can't tell, but it's pretty sheer. Like it's like it's a it's pretty a stiff cliff. And so I had to go between the boulders. And this is my aguado. Is it aguado? Yeah. See, aguado. I'm pulling myself through the boulders yeah, yeah, to get to the ultimate goat fish, the kumu. That's and then you there. have... One miracle goat that was just not paying attention. <laughs> he was drinking water in the rocks. <laughs> Let's see it. It's gone. No way. No. Do you think? Freaking way! No way! He just grabs it. <laughs> Increase is so much fun. Yeah, it was. Look at this. Drag him back to the water. <laughs> Drag him back to the water. Look at oh this. Oh my god. It's a big billy. That is a huge, that's like a trophy goat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let him go. 
That was your... Look how big those horns are. Yeah, dude. I can't believe you just let him go and you weren't like... Bro. I need to run. That was your best catch. That was... <laughs> In Greece, that definitely was. Alright, back underwater here. Okay. Big that boulders. was incredible. <laughs> big boulders. Oh! This one I kind of messed up. That's okay. What did we learn? To be... Don't have tunnel vision. And look beyond your target. Because there might be a bigger one swimming. Okay. So, so we got watch, big knife jaws, we got yeah, full spear there. Watch just behind the knife jaw that I shoot. There's a bigger one coming this out. This is the head under predator. Yeah. So right here, see the knife jaw coming from? Watch the one that comes out from the rocks behind it. Right. There. Oh, wow. You're right. <laughs> yep. You can see it back there. Yeah. So this... So nice my buddy... shot, though. My buddy Wayne has the world record knife jaw. Oh, no way. And it's like 21, almost 22 pounds with the spear gun. It's ridiculous. And, uh... I wanted to, I, the, the buddy of this one I thought was close to the world record for pole spear. And you had seen it before, right? Yeah, I saw it on a previous dive and I came up and was like, hey, give me the pole spear. I'm going to go break the world record right now. And I went down and I saw the, the smaller one and then I saw this and I was like, oh, that's him. And then I waited and, and I put my hands on him and I was like, ah, this thing's like, I think it was like 17 pounds or wow. 16 pounds, but the, the record I think was like 19. Still sick. On 19 on, I guess because three prong here everybody uses. Yeah. Yeah. Sick fish, man. I yeah. swear those are still like some of our favorite eating fish in the world. Sam made, was that miso? Did you yeah. make it? You made a black cod miso like well, copy black from Mobu. Black cod Mobu. would be the fish, but yeah. And it miso was, yaki. But you left it. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's like know. marinated in the Maybe miso. Maybe not miso part. yaki, but uh, yeah, miso butterfish. Yeah, but so she miso. left it. For it wasn't like miso three days. days. Yeah. yeah, it was like. Yeah. Wasn't miso? No, no, it, it was, was miso. miso. It wasn't. No, it was I incredible. was thinking of something else. It was yeah. incredible. I swear I want to do that again. Oh, this, I believe, is the ultimate moose stock. Is, mm -hmm. is that me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. Yeah. This was like the so this, greatest spearfishing did we, ever. Did, yeah. Didn't we show this? Isn't there a video? No. Yeah, but he didn't give us his clip. Oh. Guys, we're going to put this up in the right-hand corner. This is going to be me and my version from this day. Probably the best, without a doubt, I think the best short I've that ever been amazing. on in my entire life. super fun. Girls are on shore, just totally casual, like, mellow, like, yeah, we'll swim out for a half hour. And it was the best short I've ever had. But this one. Oh, no, no, what was this then? The most impressive part, of, impressive part of the day was they said they would be back by two, and they were back by two <laughs> on the dot. Because we had too many fish. <laughs> okay, so, so, so I never brought my head up. Okay. You knew. You I knew, knew that they were there. there. Oh. So I put my head down. Light dusting. You guys see that? That wasn't like a giant thing. That was a do 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 Real casual. Post it up. here, and I start counting. There's this goofy clip. Yeah. Why do your bands always look like they're holding on for dear life? His bands always are rotten. They're always full <laughs> rotten. Look at those things. I slowly look up. And they're all right there. <gasps> Put my head back yeah. down. Wow. And so I don't want to look at them as I'm slowly as moving my extending. gun forward. Wow. And then Same right now up. I'm trying to tackle, look for the biggest one. And I think the one off to my right is the biggest one. Oh my god. That one? Yeah. Oh. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh. Quartering away, waist sleeve moves, just tiny little crawl forward. Oh, right in the butt. Look at that. You made right it happen. Right in the butt? Well, I think it was right behind it, but you got it. Oh, right there. wow, Justin. Wow. That was incredible. So that's, but it was one of the smaller moves we got that day. That was really cool. How deep were you guys? I think it was like 60, 60 70 feet. 60. There were so many fish here. Okay. There were so many fish. It was insane. No, it was, in, it was insane. It was I insane. think we both got ukus. We both got nice moves. I got my biggest moo, I think. This was like yeah. seven pound moo day. And they were everywhere. You could have, it was like, how many did you want? This the last is, one. This is me in a nutshell. <laughs> what kind of nutshell? Uh, Mac nutshell. Thick. Thick. Thick hard for crack. All right, where, where are we at? What do you think? Got we got a meal. Yeah, how cool I got five pound cool is. Fish everywhere. <laughs> so this one. Lying around, I'm like, what is it? Oh, here comes a move. Do I want to shoot the move? I'm like, ah, I shot a move already. You already have one for grandma? Yeah, got one for grandma, so I don't need <laughs> one. You know, like, Ooh. my grandma loves these three, four pound moves. So I'm like, ah, I don't need a move. Moo, omilus. You know, I'm like, what else? Oh, what's that? Let me look back to my left. Oh, there it is. <laughs> look at this. 
Oh my god. You gosh. do not. There's no way. Yes, come on, get off the reef. Get off the reef. Stoned. Stone in my coles. Guys! The dude just shot a freaking cole. <laughs> you gotta shoot the cole. Why? Why not? I had a move. Don't need another move. All right, guys. Fried cole. So you need exactly one cole. Have you not seen the cole on my side? They one are. Cole one meals. cole is dinner. Well, as Justin said, that that sums up Justin's diving very well here. Anything so, you want to say to the people? Thank you very much for watching my channel. It, it took me a long time. Finally found me a great editor. Get out of here. Really, really stoked. I'm actually gonna treat it a little better than Ryan. Um, Probably. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you guys liked our whole reaction series that we've got going on, let us know down below. We'll also put a link down there to a Dropbox so that you guys can submit your clips and then we'll review them over here. We'll see you guys next time right here on Ryan Myers Expeditions. Thanks you guys. Aloha.